So you're supposed to back in and the natural buoyancy. Oh. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. The last stop in my incredible trip to Jordan was the Dead Sea. It's called that because the water is so salty, no fish or plants can live in it. But you can float in the water without an inflatable raft. I can't believe I made it. <laughs> this trip has been so great, but it's also been exhausting. I tried to do way too much. So I'm spending the last day at the Dead Sea to just kind of hang out. Also, it's a little apt as I feel a little dead. <sighs> Luckily, this place is world famous for being one of Mother Nature's best spas. There are all sorts of crazy minerals in the water, which are supposed to be great for your health, along with a few other things that aren't. So fun fact, it's actually not a sea, it's a lake. Don't get any seawater in your eyes, flush immediately with fresh water. Don't leave the salt on your body. Don't go into the sea with cuts or wounds. Oh my gosh, can you imagine painful? So why is the Dead Sea so salty? Lots of rivers flow into it but it's landlocked, so nothing flows out. The only way water escapes is by evaporating, leaving all the minerals and salt behind. But before you get in the water, you're supposed to play in the mud, which according to the locals is something like a gold bond ointment. It cures everything. Apparently this clay is supposed to do everything but walk your dog. It's supposed to like get rid of wrinkles, zits, toxins, I mean everything. I wish there was like a mirror where I could see what I was missing. And then you keep it on for like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Once I was covered in nature's sunscreen, it was time to get in the water. So you're supposed to back in and the natural buoyancy. Oh, I don't feel like there's anything else you can do but float. Oh, you, it's really hard to swim actually. But my feeble attempts at swimming were the only frolic mishaps. Yep, I ignored the cardinal rules of the Dead Sea. Probably not. Oh, Nicola. Thankfully, my producer Nicola led me to salvation, fresh water. After my sight was restored, the full effects of the magical mud took effect. Okay, maybe it's not really Cindy Crawford circa 89, but oh my gosh, it feels so good. I'm gonna go back up there sit on the edge of that infinity pool, look out over the Dead Sea and have a drink. Yalla, Habibi. Let's go, my friend. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, going to Europe, I found the perfect layover, Iceland. Download the Yahoo app to your phone or tablet. 